Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Emma Shri. In today's video, I am going to explain about countdown timer web part in SharePoint Online. Let's do practically. This is my SharePoint site page regarding product details. In this page, I need to show the users there are new products getting launched tomorrow. So, I will add the countdown timer web part here. Click on the edit web part. Click on the plus new icon, add a new web part. I'll search for countdown timer web part. Select this. Now we can see that countdown timer web part is added. Let me give a title for this. New product launch. I'll add a description. Have you shopped at salary saving deals are live. Now I will customize this web part. Click on the edit web part. We can see that a dialog box will appear on the right hand side. As date and time, I will provide the tomorrow date that new product is getting launched tomorrow. So 5th at 12 am. So from tomorrow our new product is getting launched. Display timer as we can change the format of the countdown timer web part. So days. When I choose days, it only shows it only represents the days. If I choose days, hours, and minutes, it, it represents days, hours, and minutes. I'll choose days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So it represents days, hours, minutes, and seconds also. So I'll leave the I'll display the timer as a days as minutes and seconds only. In countdown timer web part, we can also provide the call to action. To enable this, we'll move the toggle towards on. Now I'll provide the call to action text as check here. Check here. In call to action link, I'll provide the link of my product details. This is my link of my product details. So, I need my countdown timer web part to look attractive. So, I'll add a background image. Click on the add button. Go for stock images. I'll add a background image. This. Then click on the insert button. Now, we can see that our background image is added to our countdown timer web part. If you need background image to look lighter or darker, we can choose the overlay color like so it looks lighter. It, it should be in dark. We can choose black. It looks darker. So we can also change the background capacity. So see now a countdown timer web part is looking attractive. Now we will replay. Now we will republish this countdown timer web part. Click on the republish button. This is how to add a countdown timer web part in SharePoint Online. If you guys like this video, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.